Hey everybody and welcome to the Encyclopedia. This is the top 10 strongest metals. Listed here are bare elements and alloys which are ranked according to their tensile strength. Tensile strength is the ultimate strength of a metal before it breaks. So the unit that is going to be used here in order to rank the metals is PSI. It is the pressure resulting from a force of 1 pound applied to an area of 1 square inch, hence pounds per square inch. So an easy way to put it is a 1 square inch bar of metal being pulled end to end and the amount of weight it can hold before it breaks. Number 10. Magnesium. Magnesium is seen as a silvery white metal which burns bright and does not like to extinguish easily. Stereotypes aside, magnesium on its own is really brittle. Once alloyed, its ductility and strength increase, but that isn't the reason why it's used. Instead, magnesium is known for its low density, which makes the metal very light compared to other metals of similar strength. The strongest alloy of magnesium contains 1.5% zinc and 0.25% gadolinium, and has a tensile strength of 62,000 psi, so that one square inch bar of this alloy can hold 62,000 pounds before breaking. It is currently used in the scientific fields and is one of the strongest alloys of magnesium. There are claims of magnesium alloys that that are lighter than aluminum and stronger than titanium. But clear documentation was really obscure, so it probably is just a claim. Because if it wasn't a claim, if it was real, it would have made the headlines on the news. And car makers such as Koenigsegg, McLaren, you know, even GM would make the entire car engines out of this material. Number 9. Iron. Good old iron is one of the strongest and toughest metals out there. It's so tough it's still used as rails for most of the trains and trams. Iron is used in many forms it has, and it's often used in cooking utensils such as pots and pans. And lifting an iron pot or pan is no doubt a chore. And that is a reason why iron is not used as frequently as other entries on this list. Wait, it's heavy. It's dense, and it's proven by the fact that a cast iron pen can do more headshot damage than a Car 98, which is a sniper rifle. Just kidding, that's PUBG. So its strength to weight ratio is not as good as the other entries on this list, and that is why it's used less and less in applications like cars and trucks. Engines like the legendary Chevy Big Blocks were usually made of cast iron, but modern Big Blocks and truck engines are now being replaced with cast aluminum, which is significantly lighter. Iron is sometimes being used as cylinder liners in aluminum engine blocks, as aluminum can get wore down easily. Iron, in its purest form, has a tensile strength of 82,000 pounds per square inch, which is really high. Number 8. Aluminum. Aluminum, like iron, is everywhere. It was once more valuable than gold. There was a story of a king who gave his son a toy made of aluminum instead of gold, and also Napoleon used aluminum cutlery for himself and his guests of the highest honor, and the others had to do with gold. Crazy, huh? It all comes down to the fact that aluminum is very reactive, and it occurs in nature in the form of oxides. It takes a lot of energy to break the bond between aluminum and oxygen. Now, the strongest aluminum alloy as of right now is a 7068 T6511 aluminum, which is an exotic aerospace alloy with 8.3% zinc, 3% magnesium, 2.4% copper, and trace amount of other elements. It is very strong with a tensile strength of 103,000 psi, almost twice that of iron. It's currently being used in the aerospace industry due to its lightweight and high strength. Other applications are as connecting rod materials for Formula One cars and top fuel dragsters. Number 7. Chromium. Elemental chromium is strong and usually applied using electroplating on other metals to prevent corrosion. Chromium is also known to take a very good polish and has been the trend in the second half of the 1900s to plate everything metallic, especially the muscle car bumpers. When left out in the open, chromium exhibits passivation, which means that a protective layer of oxide forms on the metal's surface and the layer then protects the metal from further oxidation, and this property is similar to that of aluminum. Chromium is very brittle, but in terms of raw strength, it is pretty good, as it has a tensile strength of 111,000 psi, which is very high, but it has seen little use in structural application because of its brittle nature, and it's also rather heavy, as the density of chromium is almost thrice that of aluminum, meaning that for a given strength, chromium is going to be almost three times as heavy. Number 6. Inconel. Inconel is a trademark metal by the Special Metals Corporation. Alloys of Inconel are known to be corrosion resistant and are designed to be very strong. The alloy was designed with one purpose, and that is to retain all of the structural properties of the metal at very extreme conditions, conditions of high pressures and high temperatures where all the strength was necessary. One such example is the turbine section of a jet engine. The turbine blades and the stators experience very high temperatures from freshly burned gases coming out of the combustion chamber and entering the turbine section. The Saturn V engines were made out of Inconel. SpaceX also uses Inconel to cast the Raptor engine. Inconel comes in various different forms, but the strongest one is 718. 
18 Inconel, which has a tensile strength of 142,000 PSI. Some cars use Inconel exhaust systems like the McLaren 720S, and turbocharger wheels are also made of Inconel. Inconel 718, which is the strongest, consists of 55% nickel, 20% chromium, 10% iron, and 0.3% molybdenum. Trace amount of other metals are also present. Number 5. Tungsten Carbide Drill bits, end mills, saw blades, artillery shells, rings. What do they have in common? Tungsten Carbide Tungsten carbide is an amazing alloy of tungsten and carbon. It is probably the most used tooling alloy for cutting. Almost all industries that require machining use it in some form or the other. So does the military. Armor-piercing shells have layers like that of an onion with a soft metal exterior and a hard tungsten carbide penetrator. So the tungsten carbide is really hard with a 9 or sometimes higher rating on the most scale of hardness making it perfect for tooling. It is also very strong with an extreme 150,000 PSI of tensile strength which is in insane for an alloy of such simplicity. Tungsten carbide is also very dense and heavy considering tungsten is a major constituent, so it is not used for lightweight applications such as motorsport. It also does not exhibit that much ductility. Usually tungsten carbide does chip to an extent. Number 4. Titanium it is everywhere. White paint is titanium dioxide, and this is the form that's obtained from ores relatively cheaply. But the fun part is getting titanium metal out of the white powder, requiring a multi-stage extraction process. The alloy in question here is Ti-15MO5ZR3AL, which consists of 77% titanium, 15% molybdenum, 5% zirconium, and 3% aluminum. It's an exotic space-grade alloy used in planes and some satellites. It's known for being super lightweight and strong, with a tensile strength of 180,000 PSI when heat treated correctly. Being an exotic alloy, it's also very expensive. And like pure titanium, it cannot be used for abrasive applications because titanium experiences galling, a form of wear caused by adhesion between sliding surfaces and some material is always being pulled off when the surfaces are rubbing together. And the amount of galling increases with an increase in the force compressing the two surfaces together. It is particularly more prevalent in low density materials like titanium and aluminum. Number 3. Stainless Steel Stainless steels are often known for their anti-corrosion ability due to the addition of chromium. The signature characteristic of stainless steel is its really bright and reflective outer surface that can take a good polish. The addition of chromium also adds strength. Now the strongest stainless steel is a 440 grade steel which is used in knives and cutlery. It's got a really high 230,000 psi of tensile strength. This steel is often used in cutlery. Knives, forks, spoons. It's so almost like one can hold a spoon up and say they have a sample of one of the strongest metals on the planet. And 440 steels have a common composition of 17% chromium, 11% manganese, 1% silicon, and trace amounts of other elements. Number 2. Tungsten Tungsten as a pure element is really strong. It is the strongest natural metal and it's used in some of the most advanced fields of science. One example is a diamond anvil cell, which is used to subject a tiny sample of, to an enormous amount of pressure. Two diamonds are held end to end and then compressed with screws until the desired pressure is achieved. The concept of multiplication of force due to pressure being inversely proportional to the area it's applied to is being used here. A large amount of surface area on top with a certain amount of force will cause an increase in pressure when the surface area on the bottom is decreased by a significant amount. Tungsten has a very high tensile strength of 260,000 psi which is even greater than that of almost all steel alloys. It's especially awesome considering that it's not even an alloy but a pure metal putting alloys to shame. Now there are two myths about tungsten that need to be busted. Myth number one, tungsten is so brittle. Now tungsten is brittle but only when there's a large impact on the surface. It's not so brittle that it's as brittle as glass. That's not true. It's not that brittle. It is brittle to an extent, but it's not as brittle as glass. Myth number two, tungsten is toxic. Tungsten is non-toxic. Sure, there may be some obscure industry using an obscure tungsten compound that may be somewhat poisonous, but the vast majority of tungsten alloys and substances are not toxic. People just associate tungsten as being a heavy metal, so it has property similar to that of lead, but that's not true. Tungsten is non-toxic. So if tungsten was really toxic, then why do people wear tungsten rings? Then OSHA would jump all over the sellers because that would be distributed of very toxic metals. Number one, moraging steels. 350 moraging steel is the strongest metal with an insane 340,000 psi of tensile strength, which is almost double that of the strongest titanium alloy. Now, moraging steels work in a different way in terms of their strength. Alloys work by using atoms of different diameters, and when stress is applied, the layers of atoms try to slide over one another, but bigger atoms get in the way and cause resistance, which increases the tensile strength. Moraging steels are slowly heat treated to precipitate intermetallic compounds to occur within the actual metal. 
metal. So in a crude way, intermetallic compounds are essentially multi-element metal crystals, which make for very difficult sliding of metal layers, and the tensile strength is just really high. 350 margin steel has a composition of 63% iron, 18% nickel, 12% cobalt, 5% molybdenum, and 1% titanium, and 0.1% aluminum. Common uses are missile and rocket skins, which can be made a lot thinner due to the immense strength. It can also be used as a material for fencing foils, as it has a lower chance of cracking, and any cracks that occur do propagate less. Due to lack of carbon, margin steels cannot be used as swords or knives, because they don't hold a good edge. Now that's the top 10 strongest metals. Thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel, and like this video if you want to know more fun facts. Stay tuned for the next video.